Hello, I'm Dr. Benita Rattan, and this channel is dedicated to skincare for skin of color. So as you know, I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of color. You can follow me on Instagram at the Hyperpigmentation Clinic and Skincare by Dr. V, and on TikTok, which is just Dr. Benita Rattan. Right, so today's video is a review of Vani Cream, and it was actually Dr. Dre who made me aware of this brand. If you don't follow Dr. Dre, she's a fantastic dermatologist that I would highly recommend you do follow on YouTube, and I'll link her uh, um, YouTube down below too for you but a lot of you have asked me for Vanny Cream I think probably more in the US than anywhere else so let's see which ones I like and which ones I would avoid for skin of color okay so starting off with the first product which is Vanny Gentle facial cleanser. So the second ingredient here is glycerin, a very good humectant, I love it. And then they've got cocoglucoside and sodium glycinate, which are very gentle surfactants, which I love too. It's got no alcohol in it and it's got no fragrance in it. I love, love, love it. So definitely you wanna purchase this one. If you have sensitive skin, any form of dermatitis, eczema, yeah, those sorts of different skin types are gonna work well with this particular cleanser. It's important for you to know that none of my videos have ever been sponsored and they never will be sponsored. This is literally just a video library, a reference library for our skin of color family globally to let you know what's worth your money and what is maybe something worth sidestepping. I said the second product I want to talk about is their moisturizing cream. Now the second ingredient here is petrolatum. Now this is a fantastic emollient, meaning what it does is imagine your skin cells are all a little bit shriveled and curled at the top. The emollient just smooths out the edges so that you get even reflection of light and that's what gives you that flawless looking skin and that's why the difference between moisturizing and not moisturizing is dull skin and then skin that looks brighter. However, what I would say, because the second ingredient here is petrolatum, Latin, I would only really use this for very dry skin. So eczema prone skin, I would avoid it if you have oily acne prone skin. It's also got some great moisturizers in it. It's got sorbitol in it and propylene glycol in it too. So it is gonna be a very hydrating cream. And actually if you have dry skin, this is gonna be a savior. So I absolutely love this product. It has no fragrance in it, no irritants in it, no skin sensitizers in it. So this one's very good for skin of color. So the next product is the gentle body wash. The second ingredient here is glycerin. So again, a very good humic the third ingredient here is cocoa glucoside, which is a very gentle surfactant. And it's also got sodium glycinate too, plus panthenol. Panthenol is an anti-inflammatory, so it's a skin soother. This product has no irritants in it, which is excellent, especially if you have dry, irritated skin. What you can see here actually is a signature. So they use similar surfactants and similar ingredients and that really tends to become brand specific. And as a formulator myself, I know that you tend to keep going back to the ingredients that you love. And so for me, any product that you see that's been made by Dr. V, most of them are gonna have octadecanoic acid in it, or, you know, are gonna, like here for, <laughs> for example, it's gonna be like my favorite vitamin C's and my favorite vitamin A's are gonna be in all of them. And the reason is when you love an ingredient as a formulator, you will buy 5 kg, 50 kg of it, sorry, or you know a ton of an ingredient that you will then put into everything. And so then you end up with a signature when it comes to your inky list and they, you know, there's a lot of overlap. It's just interesting to see. I just love seeing it, especially when I'm reviewing brands, because sometimes actually, like Garnier, for example, I went through and you could tell all the different formulators and where they'd all made their input because it wasn't the same formulator for all of Garnier, for example. <laughs> The next product I want to talk about is their moisturizing ointment. And so here they use hydrogenated polydecane, which is a silky emollient. And they also use microcrystalline wax as the second ingredient, which is basically just a highly refined wax from petrolatum. So this is what gives the product a very a semi-solid texture. And it's a fantastic occlusive, something that you put on after you come out the shower, you pat your skin dry, and then you pop the ointment on. And that's just a trap water molecules in fact I would probably what I tend to do is because I get dry skin as well is I in the shower I would wear my oil shower gel which does a similar thing but in the shower and then I tend to 
either use a body oil like sweet almond oil for, oil for example or if you have eczema then this is a fantastic thing to put on as an ointment because an ointment will stick to the skin a lot more than a cream will. Creams you do tend to get water loss and skin can feel dry especially in the winter or if you swim a lot for example and your oil your skin is just naturally quite dry. So an ointment and a heavier based moisturizer is fantastic for you. So I have to say I'm a fan of Vani Cream. Definitely a winner and I hope everybody who has especially eczema or dermatitis has purchased it because it's going to give you so much relief. Right so the link for your free guide for skincare for skin of color is down below. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and ask me any questions that you have down below as well. I'm in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every single video. Thank you.